Welcome back, everybody. Ross here with more Iconoclast. With what feels like the end, but with only 52% completion? I don't know, but I haven't done too much treasure hunting inside stuff. Like, I've done stuff that's on the way, but I haven't done a lot of stuff that would no doubt require backtracking to old areas after getting pretty much this fancy thing. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm near the end. Maybe I'm nowhere near it. I don't know. One lucky th it's a shame this game isn't more popular, but one lucky thing about that is that people don't talk about spoilers much, so... Oh, these are potential- no, these are capsules that could potentially get us back home. I was told there's a map in there through which you can select a destination. That is it, I guess. Okay, is that hinting that we'll be able to fast travel through here once we finish this segment, so we're- we're not at the end? Oh, the hop's in here! Because low gravity. By the way, we're on the moon. Or one of the moons. There's a big and a small one in this world. And also, the world looks like patchworked together. The further I go, the more and more the questions just crop up. And yeah, and I guess that the big yellow thing is the big moon that we've been able to see before that's like ripped apart because Eggman pissed on it. Also, these white doors, they should open with me approaching them. It is a similar permission registry to the one concerned cameras. It's these lit paths. No need for you having to spend time figuring out ways to bypass these. Alright, let's go. You know, I do love Royal's run animation. <coughs> ah, space. Capitalism can't get us here. Welcome to Midway, pupils. Yeah, well... They'll never see that sign. Reserved for Emmett Darland. Eileen Ferrier? Oh, yeah, those are the fancy purple suit executives, huh? B. Blockrock. Oliver Shard. Joseph Glass. Ooh, a ladder. Damn. Mother. Progeny Royal. Madeline Binoche. Was she the only agent who had a reserved spot? I feel bad for her, man. Like, man, she was a bitch, but... The crap she went through... And the learned that she was pretty much suffering at all times. Uh, I can see him! To think he is this near us already. His shape, it truly does resemble a star worm from here. I'm closer than anybody alive has ever been to him. The former holy progeny wants to reason with a god. But yes, this is bigger than me. It's everything on the planet. Mina and Earlro and everyone. And you, Robin. I will focus all the energy I can. My powers will make contact. He will notice me. Try, try not to backfire it. I, I know you're not the best with your powers. All the hope we have left is that in meeting us here, he might have a change of heart. <laughs> I need to try harder. No! <coughs> Something in my throat. <sighs> he... He flinched, didn't he? No, he's definitely turning! He, he is about to grant audience with me. I am... I am not ready. He's coming so fast, too. Uh, we should move. Um, very fast indeed. I'm not sure he's gonna slow- uh, Um, I uh, am. Uh, uh, yeah. It's more of the blue parasite crap! 
Oh, my dear God. I mean, oh, great, wonderful he. Oh, uh, magnificent starworm. I do not deserve to look upon your being. Uh, 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 um, magnificent, beautiful, awesome he. Thank you for granting me audience. On behalf of all of humanity, I welcome your return. Well, uh, okay, uh, um, as we understand it, you visit us out of deep dissatisfaction. Indeed, much has gone wrong, and many people have defied your divine loss. However, I can only pray that you do not come here to vanquish us all. I, your progeny and representative of humanity, was led to believe what was being done was in accordance with your wishes, but it clearly was not. Many humans have evidently been misled by half-truths. I will plead with you as a divine representative on the judgment of humans. Not all humans are bad. Uh, am I... Am I doing something wrong, my lord? Uh, I hope I have not offended you with improper manners. So, so are you here to destroy us? Might you spare the planet? Please bless us with your answer. Why do you not respond? I am royal, your chosen leader. I was chosen by you. I was chosen by you, right? Speak to me! What is it? Sorry, boy, this thing is no god. Wait, what are you doing? Why are you leaving? Come back here! You can't just ignore me! I am royal! I am divinity like you! You will listen! What's happening to my head? Uh, I, uh, uh. Oh, god. Uh, uh. What have I done? Everyone hates me. I ruined everything. Oh, I would have had to pick him up anyway, wouldn't I, hope to open those damn doors. So this wasn't a choice thing. I'm worthless. A sinner. I should be dead. Let me die. Mother was right not to love me. I am a mistake. A bastard in his eyes. Just say it. I should go die. We could finally be happy. Oh, shit. No. Damn it. I'm sorry, man. Damn it! Fuck. And I wouldn't be able to jump over those carrying him. Oh, man. Fuck you, game. This is cruel. Ditches him without hesitation, huh? I figure there might at least be like an animation or scene of her hesitating.
Well, there goes another moon. So now what? Okay, well, it's not completely blown up. Uh, damn it, Royal, good job. <laughs> Save your orb. Oh my god. Okay, I love that. <laughs> what? Robin! How did you. Are you alright, honey? So you're back alone. Well, we're all about to go, right? Sorry, that's terrible. You are back home, though. You're too good. <laughs> that worm creature smashed into the ground near here. What will happen now? Sweet little Robin. Please don't feel like you failed. It's crazy the amount of things you've managed to do. You just wanted to help, despite people resisting. That makes you cool, okay? You make me realize how much of a jerk I can sound like. Also, that I'm pretty selfish. Some decisions aren't meant to just be for yourself. They're for everybody else. But it doesn't stop me worrying I've ruined everything I had with Samba and my mother. Those emotions are okay. But sometimes there is a greater purpose, right? <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm rambling a bunch of quotes from a poster. But I think I'm making a point. Maybe it's just more excuses for myself. I am good at those. Your brother is in your house. Some other people who helped out along the way, too. You should go now. This is such an emotional and touching scene. But I'm still giggling at Save Yorb. That, that is good. That's some fucking good wordplay. Robin, I'm so sorry for anything stupid I said or did. Everybody loves you, okay? Don't forget that. You're bigger than all of us. I wish the world could have known that. I, I think I need to go home now. I don't know how many days or hours or minutes we have left. These two conflicting sides of my stupid life. I'm afraid that everybody hates me. I like you, Mina. Farewell, little Robin. Now kiss! Come on, give us the lesbians. I'll see you in a different world! Oh, did that crash involve you somehow? The stories we Kimiko hear about you, they are nuts, but so very true. You even go to space and come right back. I take it things didn't go all too well. While you were up there, he streaked across the skies. You've done more than enough. It's time to just let whatever is about to happen, happen. Only when we submit does the expected come true, Tegan. Now, now, would we ever suggest that little Robin could take on the great and monstrous space hose? Her wrench may be big, but he is not a bolt, is he? <laughs> the mechanics can achieve anything, given the right input. But really, Robin, you're already the queen of the mechanics. Have your rest. I've been Elro's friend for a long time now. I know him well. I know that he may what he may, or may not, do. I've always tried to push him in the right direction. If he tells me to stay behind, I know for sure to do the opposite. To push the buttons for him. Tegan, thank you. He does love you, his sunflower. Even when one of her machines fail and covers her big face in soot, she keeps smiling. A sunflower always faces the sun. 
And maybe the sunflower can convince this man to plant his butt on the bed. He insists on sitting here, ignoring this doctor's sage advice. We should leave you two alone now. Whatever comes, I wish you all the best. What say you, good doctor? Will you greet the dawn with me? Oh, it's tremendous pleasure. Goodbye. Are, are, are you two hooking up? I mean, good for you. I'll see you around. Eat your veggies. He wishes to grant you penance within your own home. Well, we both grew up here. Dying here fits pretty well. Those two. They tried to humor you, did you notice? Even now, they would stupidly think to. <sighs> I tried to tell you people that the rocket would be pointless. But you're back, so that's good. Maybe we'll get to see Ella again. I want to have her back. Please, just stay with me now. Let's meet the end. Together. That's all I want. It's only you and me now. Please, just stay with me. Kitty. I thought Mina was going to keep him. Alright, well, we have a cat we stole now. What happened to my secret basement? Well, Elro, it seems consoling you isn't an option for me. Because of video games. This is the end. Alright, before I check out the hole, I'm curious about the town. So I'm gonna go check in with them real quick. Someone needs to fix that door so it stays open, damn it. Same. Doesn't seem like anyone here has anything to say about, uh, the shit show. Here? Am I crazy? Is this game gaslighting me? Yeah, everyone here seems same old, same old. This really is the end. I guess you don't get an ability that increases your air capacity. 
So I guess if I want to explore that one section... I need to... Equip a full stack of those. Alright. Let's go visit a big fucking alien parasite worm. Also shoot some shit. people from the tower. A new key item. Mother. He's dead as fuck. A note. Is there a way for me to read it? Ah, smoke. Well, I wonder where it landed. Impact zone. New area. Gotta use this to get the parasites off of them. Oi, right, fuck off! What do I do about you? Oh, I just shoot you? That's definitely a lot easier. <laughs> well, I made that a hell of a lot harder. You asked. Oh, that kills them. All right, I can kill ghosts now. Cool. This one's slow. 
I guess they thought two at a time coming at you fast would be a bit much. That's good balance right there. Boy, fuck off. Fucking deer! I follow it, and that's the way it went. Hmm. That looks like a one-way ticket. <laughs> Shit. This was the path to go. She's just like, I'm not impressed. Look, she just punched it! I love this woman. Is this madness? Fucking fuck. Why isn't that thing doing anything? It didn't attack at all. Or is this just game just fucking with me now? Lovely daughter. Your mother would always talk about how she loved the life around the fields. When I first saw her, she wore the prettiest dress. 
She spoke endlessly of her love for nature. It became clear to me that her life of farming was one of the most free lives you could have. Her father showed talent in it, and was assigned that job as a result. I kept trying my hardest to do the right thing. Now you're here. You say that you care, but you conflict me. I was just protecting you. I don't know why you questioned my intentions. I can clearly see where your ambition has led you and Elro. Your mother was a farmer's daughter, and she had a calm and safe life. Well, before my life mixed with hers, but that has nothing to do with being a farmer. I still wish you would pursue it. I think you stopped listening a long time ago, honestly. You made your mind up. But where has that led your brother, Elro? You need to think of those closer to you as well. This isn't just about you. All I want you to do now is accept that you can't do everything. Family comes before anything. Come to me, Robin. Bye! Fuck your mind tricks! Yeah, that shit won't work on me. Fuck him up, 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 fuck him up! Fuck him up. <laughs> Eyeballs who eventually fuck off. Ha! Bitch! Fucking dislocate his wrist. Oh, just rip it clean off. Yeah, fuck you. you alien puppet master, bitch. That was way too easy. Show me your true form, Andros. Actually, maybe don't. It's... What the fuck? Okay, we're finding a Chozo! Oh, the original boss beam. Ow.
keep fucking shooting him. He keeps dropping hell. Uh oh, Starworm reactivated. I forgot to jump. Uh oh. Oh god. Ow. What the fuck is going on? That was pretty metal. So it really is aliens fucking manipulating us. Robin found her green thumb. Okay, just the random deer. I'm still so fucking confused. You're back. All these round trees outside, and the trimmer stopped. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, she needs it! Alright, Robin. I won't try to tell you what to do anymore. So yeah, um, still, what the fuck is Ivory? What happened to the exploded moon? Um... Why? Or... What, what, what with the fucking Chozo worm mech? I am so fucking confused by everything. Seriously, that was straight up a fucking Chozo.
I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Oh, holy crap. It was a journey and a half. Still, so many questions that I do not have answered, Oedipus. So we didn't kill those. Well, those two. Elro definitely fucking killed his. Hey. One of the suit assholes survived. Yeah, I Capital ain't doing so hot. Oh, the crap from Black's corpse is still flying down. name for the bird. Interesting. Dun, dun, dun. All right, where are we met Royal? Really, though? I wonder what secrets there lie in wait for us. I'm still so fucking confused! <laughs> Unlock challenge in boss rush mode. New game plus. You'll start at the beginning, but you'll keep your tweaks. I'll pass for now. Well... Okay, challenge is just a difficulty setting. Interesting. Well. I... I guess that does it for now. Holy crap ball. So, I guess that's it for Iconoclast. Although, like I said, I still have questions that are not answered. Like, what the hell was any of this insanity? 
So, until next time, everybody. You all have a great evening, and take care of yourselves. <laughs>